Hello everyone and welcome here. My name is Heather aka Hey Hey Crochet and in today's video I am going to share 20 plus gift ideas that you can crochet before Christmas. These are all fairly small makes. They should all work up quick so you will have them done for your loved ones for Christmas. Grab a cozy drink. I have my hot chocolate. Without further ado, let's get started. Excuse my congestion. I'm getting over a cold, but I cannot wait any longer to make this video. So you guys will have it before you know Christmas. But anyways, the first thing is going to be this here vest. I have a free pattern for this vest on my blog. And if, if this looks a little too hard, I also have a normal version and I have a video here on this YouTube channel to make that. It's a very fast make. It's literally just two big granny squares with some straps and then side pieces. And I can make my size in about three to four hours. It's very quick to make and you can make this as a gift to yourself and wear on Christmas or for a loved one. And that is gift idea number one. The next one would be book covers. Those are so popular and trending right now in the crochet community, I feel. You can find so many cute patterns and tutorials. If you look it up here on YouTube, or over on Pinterest, you can find some really cute free patterns and they're really easy to make. You can use really any stitch, any type of yarn. I made a cover for my Kindle and it was super easy. It took like less than an hour, but a book is obviously bigger than a Kindle, but they're very easy to make for that book lover in your life. Moving on to the next gift idea, that would be a tote bag. Literally everyone I know is using tote bags and they're so funny to make. There are a million tutorials here on YouTube and I even have one myself. It's a gingham tote bag pattern. Like you don't have to do gingham. You can literally just make it solid colored. You can make it checkered. It's really up to you. But again, there are so many free patterns and ways to customize a tote bag. So that would be a great gift idea. And still in the bag category, you can make these really cute fruit pouches that I have a pattern for here on my YouTube channel and on my blog. So just an idea, just kind of plugging myself again. And the next one, everyone needs one or they don't need one, but it's nice to have is a scarf. Scarves are so easy. You just need one big rectangular piece. You can use any stitch, any colors, it's great if you're trying to use up like your yarn stash. It's very simple. Next one is coasters. Coasters are so fun to make. They're so small, so easy. You can make just squares. You can make circles. I have a pattern for a flower coaster here on my YouTube. They're just really fun to make and great gifts. You can make several and gift them to lots and lots of people. And another one is, I said that weird. <laughs> is pot holders slash dish rags or dish cloths. And these are another super cute, super easy. You just need a square. You can use basically any stitch, but they're really easy to whip up and bake several if you want to gift them to several people. One thing about pot holders in my future home, I want a pot holder wall with tons of adorable pot holders. And I think that would be so cute and creative and like I'll use them, but also great decor. And moving on to the next one is wall decor. So I, I have a pattern and tutorial here on YouTube and on my blog of like granny square wall hangings. And you can do a form of those. It's just small, easy, great gift. Or you can, if you're a bit more of an advanced crocheter, you can make like a graph, like make a picture out of it, which would be so cool. There are some great free patterns by a few creators I will have here up on the screen. And 
They also have paid patterns, but they have quite a bit that are free and they're so cute. And you can make them a little fun picture. I think they're called graphigans. It's like a little wall hanging. The next one, which I feel like kind of, it stays within the home decor category, would be a pillow or pillow cover. And pillow covers are super easy to make. You just gotta make two squares. You can even use this pattern without the straps and everything and put this baby over pillow. Or you can use several green squares or you, if you make one of those picture graphic pixel thingies, you could make that a pillowcase. The options are endless or just a pretty stitch back and forth, make a square or just single crochet, double crochet, it's super homey and cozy. The next gift idea is headgear. Things like balaclavas, I have a free pattern for. Or a beanie, I also have a free pattern for. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be plugging myself a lot because I got a lot of free patterns that you could check out if you want. But there's also a million amazing tutorials here on YouTube, so you can go out there and find whatever you want. So yeah, balaclavas, beanies, ear warmers. Ear warmers are super easy. Just like, a re again, a rectangular piece. Sew them together, make a circle, and ear warmer. Bam, you got one. Or ear muffs. There are so many cute, like, oh, I wanna make so many cute crocheted ear muffs to stay warm and toasty this holiday season. I mean, if you live, you know, where it's cold right now. This next one is for that Disney lover in your life. And you could make them some Mickey Mouse ears. I have a pattern for some Winnie the Pooh inspired ones on my Instagram, but you don't have to make them Winnie the Pooh. Like you can just take the base and kind of give them whatever theme you want. I've made Winnie the Pooh and Tiana inspired ones and they're so fun and cute. You know, someone who frequents the Disney parks. Another gift idea is a chunky plushie. Things that are trending, I feel like in the plushy realm are like bees or dinosaurs or hmm, there's lots. I have a chunky plushy pattern for a big old strawberry, if that's kind of your vibe or someone you know's vibe. Or you can basically take any amigurumi, however you say that, pattern and use chunky yarn and make it a big old chunky plushie. You can also make a normal size plushie, but chunky is cute and cozy and I feel like the vibe this season. Another one is gloves, but fingerless gloves because those are much easier to make than, you know, actual gloves for your fingers because you basically make another squarish or a rectangular piece, sew it up, leave a hole for your thumb, sew it up and you have one. I am working on releasing one very soon. It's just not out yet. Keep an eye out. Another one, which I feel will be really cute and could be cute over people's sweaters and stuff this season, is a little crochet collar. That a little fake, like, well, I guess it's not fake. I don't know what you call it. Peter Pan collar, faux collar, whatever it is. And I feel like that could be a cute little gift. I really want to make some for myself. I just haven't got around to it, but I think they're really cute and maybe you know someone who would also think that. The next one, I don't know if it is very doable, but crocheted headphone covers, but this wouldn't work as much as a surprise gift unless it's a sibling or something that you live with where you could steal their headphones and make a cute cover for them. But if you can't make like headphone covers, you can make an, an AirPod case cover. I recently made some headphone covers. Oh, excuse that. Headphone covers for my headphones. These are, I don't know what brand, I think they're called JBL. And yeah, they're not finished. These are gonna be like mushrooms, supposed to look like mushrooms and this is Hopefully it's noticeable, a frog. These could also make really cute ear warmers. That's super fun if you're able to get your hands on your loved one's headphones. Or you could just make, I feel like everyone has AirPods these days. So you could make an AirPods case cover. This one might not be as 
quick depending on how many you make but it would be such a lovely wonderful gift to last a lifetime and that would be crocheted flowers you could make a few or you could make a bouquet and that would be so cute to give someone you could make it their favorite flower and you can make someone so happy giving them some flowers that will never die and my last one which are really easy and quick to whip up would be some hair accessories you could make bandanas i have a free pattern for a bandana but there's also so many others that are so so good you could make scrunchies you could make scrunchies really fast just make a ton and give up one to all of your friends all of your family members whatever you want or another thing that's so easy whips up so quick and if you just want to make them for yourself they're trending right now i see them all over my instagram right now and they're just little tiny like mohair bows you could use any yarn but i mostly see people use mohair yarn to make these and you just make a little eye cord and just tie it and you i don't got no hair for it so i can't do it but i see them tie them in their little braids or like half ponytails and stuff and it's so cute and those especially if you have the little like there's these little machines you could get that makes an eye cord really fast or you can knit it or crochet it again tutorials here on youtube super easy and you could make so many of those super super cute completely forgot about my hot cocoa got too busy rambling still warm that is it for this video those are all the ideas i have and this video doesn't even have to be you know just for christmas if you're just wanting to make birthday gift ideas or just gift in general. I hope this video was helpful and gave you some ideas of some things that you can make for your loved ones this season. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and tutorials and whatnot. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays, happy crocheting, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.